know much of an introduction except good morning to everyone that's watching. All right, so today we got ourselves the Active 2.0. This is oh. the uh, predecessor to the VE52 and the VE56 from Obsessed Garage. Uh, I think uh, pretty much as far as introductions for this product goes, it's uh, supposed to be the best entry level pressure washer on the market. Yeah, I've done my fair share of watching a lot of videos on this guy from Matt over at Obsessed Garage, um, doing a bunch of testing and then obviously right, right. with um, uh, you know the owner of Active and yeah, I kind of came down to the, the conclusion that there was some very minor issues with the V52 and 56. Right. Um, just because of the build design. Um, we'll get into some of the differences. Obviously, we don't have the V2 or V56 with us here today. Um, but we can go over uh, the major differences between the two as if you were to, you know, purchase yourself a active 2.0. Uh, we decided to go ahead and go with the ultimate package. There was oh, yeah. a little bit of back and forth between um, you know getting the VE 52, 56, whichever one. All right, so after being interrupted from too much weight on the gimbal, <laughs> I think uh, I think we solved that. But uh, yeah, I think uh, where I kind of left off was talking about how we decided to uh, get a package bundle deal from uh, the Obsessed website. Oh yeah, it's not just the pressure washer. We got some more in store immediately afterwards. Yeah, absolutely. Um, originally, we kind of put together a list of everything that we thought, well, you know, we're gonna need. Right. And we kind of we kind of balled out on this. Honestly, there's gonna be. Well, I say there's gonna be, but uh, we decided to basically upgrade some of the parts that we were originally going to get um, just because of how expensive uh, they were uh, standalone as if compared I mean it's the same price if you buy it in a package but right. we were able to, to, to do this through uh, the shop app shop obviously kind of offers a uh, payment plan so something like this is definitely not cheap but I would say that it is good to have if you're looking to you know one kind of build your setup the way you want it and have quality equipment and two if you if you plan on trying to do detailing as a service down the road better to buy once cry once yeah and I'd say that this is a this is a good starting point so yeah so this one's advertised as the best introductory pressure washer on the market uh, only to beat the uh, 52 56 out here, if you want to start cutting it, I guess. Yeah, Might sure. as well get it open. Um, V256 uh, and the 52 was the best uh, bang for buck, supposedly, based on the information that we could find online, not just from uh, Matt himself over at Obsessed Garage. Uh, a lot of people agreed with his, uh, his statements. So when they came out and released this model kind of as the upgrade in all aspects, uh, this one resolves all of the issues that uh, the original model faced. Uh, they upgraded components internally, ultimately leading to a far more stable and powerful kind of product. Uh, it's both expected to last longer, it's expected to perform better. Uh, I believe they cut down on noise and a couple of other things too. Um, overall, the design is completely different. The other one has a completely different styling, whereas this one, uh, because of its styling, you can actually you know, kind of vertically mounted somewhere. Yeah, no, absolutely. You could put it up on the wall uh, on a stand, and since both the inlet and the outlet for the pressure washer hose are both there, you know, kind of on one side, or they're both present, you'll see it. Um, makes it a lot easier to set it up somewhere and just kind of have it exactly how you want it. Uh, since from what we could find, a lot of people, they actually mount their pressure washers, you know, up on the wall, uh, yeah. along with their water filtration systems and hose reels, all that magic. Yeah, no, absolutely. And we're no experts, so maybe we're not just yet. feeding you a bunch of shit. But yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, as companies like these continue to uh, create upgrades and, and uh, uh, you know, new products, there, there's quite a bit in here. 
Yeah. yeah. I didn't expect it to be this jam-packed. Now, obviously, there's an option um, as we start to kind of take everything out here. Uh, you can buy as a tool only, um, so just the pressure washer alone, um, or you can buy it as a full kit. I know that right now they're not selling any just tool onlys, and that is because of um, uh, the active brand themselves. You know, they, they have a, a quota, basically, um, because they're not necessarily selling this to... Um, you know, just people that are strictly, you know, a part of a detailing business. They're trying to do this right. for, uh, you know, anyone as, um, you know, first time person, uh, first time owner of a pressure washer. Uh, so they're trying to keep that in mind and they want to, you know, make sure that obviously not everyone in the world is going to have the money to, to, to go out and ball and all the nice stuff. So they try to, you know, provide the basic entry things like a, um, a, a very uh, cheap made foam cannon with uh, obviously your orifice nozzles that are in there as well. Yeah, so we got a very basic foam cannon present here along with some nozzle tips, uh, you know. Different orifice sizes in there, we kind of, yeah. we'll be able to some play options. around with that. Uh, um, as, as Matt in his video said, you know, we don't use these, so we'll yeah, set no. those off to the side. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I will say the one nice thing, obviously right off the bat, you get some uh, product information and uh, I mean, I immediately see two year warranty and that's a nice pro. Yeah, that's nice to have for sure. Yeah, so. I didn't know it came with a warranty. So that's a, that's a big plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe an instruction manual for someone that's confused. Yeah. Right. There's, there's a lot to look at here. So I guess, you know, if this is the first time pressure washer, I could definitely see it being slightly overwhelming. Now, obviously we'll come with a uh, a gun but uh yeah you know i mean you can't expect much from uh, an entry level gun obviously it'll get the job done but there's a lot better right um if i bring this up closer you so y'all can see that's one of the nice um, things about getting this is even if you don't buy you know the, any sort of package the ultimate package uh you know if you just need a new pressure washer and you've already got hoses and all that magic you know then you have the ability straight out of the box to have in theory everything you need including you know that foam cannon yeah that's uh that's a nice pro you know you don't see everybody throwing these out here especially at this entry level price no, so, absolutely you know this will this will compete with your you know ryobi's your home depot options you know and still be better pressure washer right out the gate so coming with all these additional accessories is honestly a nice pro even though we personally don't plan to use any of them yeah and the big thing, too, is obviously just because, you know, with this gun, you'd have to, you know, we've, we've, we've been using a Ryobi pressure washer for, yes, for months. <laughs> for <And> years. <laughs> well, you've owned it for years, absolutely. But, um, you know, the biggest thing was, uh, first off, was the hose that would connect to the gun was uh, very thin and would... Uh, get tangled up very easily just because of all of the pressure buildup. So you find yourself doing this motion with the gun to try yep. to unwrangle the hose. And yep. in my mind, it's a huge waste of time. And um, it's just, it's annoying to, to have to deal with. So if we could, you know, find an upgrade to where we wouldn't have to do that, then it's definitely worth the investment. I agree. And then the same thing goes up top for right here. So, you know, um, nowadays they make quick disconnects to make, you know, your life a lot more easier instead of just having to sit there and screw it on and then, you know, try to have it tight, but not too tight to the point where you're going to cause a leak issue. Um, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's, 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 it's not a bad, it's not a bad product. Um, it's, it's very nice that they do include this. Uh, with the pressure washer as a full kit um, but if you're looking to you know go the extra step then I highly do recommend um, you know getting a more uh, dedicated gun that's not gonna you know have screw-ons where you're gonna be wasting time oh, you'll trying see. to screw that on and then we, obviously um, we can we have something to compare it to <laughs> yeah and out the box as well it'll it'll come with your stick which the wand. in theory yeah the wand uh you know you're wasting time screwing it on and then like i mentioned i mean you don't know if it's too tight or too loose until you actually start using it and then lo and behold there's water coming out the side and it's because it's either not tight enough or it's too tight or 
you went, you know, super monkey grip on this thing and you destroyed the O-ring right off the bat. So, yeah, be careful. But at the same time, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but it's, you know, it's a starter package, right? So if you don't have the money to invest into an in, in upgrade, upgraded equipment to where you wouldn't have to do something like this, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good, good bang for buck and, you know, make as much use of it as you can until you, you know, make that upgrade. So obviously today we were, we were planning on, you know, at least cleaning one car, but the weather's been fighting us and Still a I drove over here this morning. It was raining. I got here, it stopped raining. And then we rearranged the garage to where we could have our, you know, little shelving unit, which houses all of our detailing products, uh, to more closer to the nozzle or the the hose reel and uh, after we had finished that it uh started raining again so i don't know if we'll be able to really get to to detailing so we'll see but we're back so yeah what do we leave off basically um if you don't invest into the upgraded equipment and you just want the uh, full pressure washer package uh, alone you'll get those entry level you know gun and and, and uh, foam cannon which obviously we'll never use but um, yeah you know if, if you're not ready to spend the extra money on that then at least they give you a full package to start off with um, and yeah, they also include uh, this is the hose that would go from the pressure washer to that gun which we also won't be using but you can kind of see it's not a bad looking hose still got the screw on attachments on both sides you know it's going to be your traditional high pressure hose yeah a little bit thin um it's thicker than a ryobi one yeah and then obviously for personal experience yeah and then obviously that one's you know it's a screw on so you know you're going to be sitting there wasting your time trying to screw it on <laughs> okay. and then like I said, you don't know if it's, you know, tight enough until you actually start using it. And then you, you got a surging issue and water shooting out. And it's because it's oh, either it's not, not tight enough or it's over tight and you destroyed the O-ring. So, yeah. It's all, it's all a loop. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, reference Matt every three to five minutes. But we, we get a lot of knowledge from watching him. And one of, you know, his biggest things is, you know, if you just listen and pay attention, then, you know, what does he say? 95, 98% of the job is already done for you. You just got to do the extra few percent to, to, to make it perfect. Now, obviously, not, you know, it's not going to be perfect, right? Um, this isn't a permanent setup. I mean, the Active 2.0 is a non-serviceable unit so if it yep. goes out on you you're gonna have to get a new one well it's a good thing where, it comes with a warranty at least yeah uh to whereas if you were to get a more permanent setup that had a serviceable unit it could you know last you a lifetime if you take care of it so it's true should we pull it out yeah let's let's get it out of the the box here i can't remember the weight i think um it's not that bad not too heavy no not at all here pick that up okay oh yeah, that's, yeah nice. that's like it's like twenty pounds max. Now the one thing we're gonna you know want to be certain on is I believe uh, you're gonna want a dedicated fifteen amp uh, circuit to connect this to, and you're not gonna want anything else connected to that circuit because you wanna you wanna give as much power to this thing as possible. Um, you know, obviously, if you have other things connected to that same circuit, uh, circuit, then you're going to have a, a power draw and you're not going to get the full performance of this thing. But getting it out of the wrapper here, that's nice, man. It looks pretty good. Yeah, let's that's really nice. That's a hell of a lot smaller than yeah. <laughs> the, the Ryobi. Yeah, the Ryobi, Ryobi assembly is definitely pretty large. You can kind of see all the action that's going on here. It's a very clean setup even the power cable feels pretty good it's got a little warning uh, talking about some of the magic that goes on in this thing including information on the internal orifice size and uh, talking about the nozzles that are provided which we won't be using but uh, you can kind of get a nice idea this thing is definitely not super heavy and compare it to a large pumpkin 
sincerely. It's Halloween. You know, it's, it's that time of the year, so that's probably the best thing to compare it to. Yeah. And then as you were kind of seeing, um, if you have any background on what the VE5256 looks like, um, this is a big step up. You're going from, uh, you know, your, 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 your plastic uh, fittings here uh, to full uh, brass or, or this looks like brass here. Um, but it's all metal compared to the older model where it's all uh, plastic. So right. you're, you know, you're going to get a little bit more longevity out of this and, and better performance um, and it overall just easier to use. I Makes do a difference. Yeah, no, I do like that the fact that the the head of the pressure washer is a full metal slash brass base. Um, and, you know, it'll give you that extra that extra life that you're looking for. So, very uh, nice. Probably the only reason that uh, you would go with the 52 or the 56 over the new 2.0 is just for availability. Uh, at least from what I was able to see. Uh, we've been scanning this product around for a little while and it was uh, constantly in a state of, you know, you couldn't purchase it immediately. You know, you get yourself set up on a list. Um, fortunately, you know, when we went in and purchased, I like that, the little power button. I don't know if you can hear that. Very satisfying click. Kind of Solid. A, it's important, you know, you gotta have a nice feeling power button. Uh, but if you didn't buy the ultimate package, you know, this thing wasn't really available um, for immediate purchase. It put you on a list. So with that ultimate package purchase, I think we kind of uh, avoided that ever so slightly. At least I think so. Yeah, we, we ordered it and it was here. This has been four day purchase. Four yeah, or five and, days. And, and it seems like you know, because I checked up every day, right? And there were some days where it just said add to cart, which means you know it's available. That's a win. And then uh, there were other days where it'd say reserve your spot, meaning you know they were you know waiting to get more in so that they could ship it out. Um, so, you know, we checked every day, and um, unfortunately, we were looking at it at a time where uh, there was a hurricane going on in Florida, and that's where these guys are based out of, and we were trying to get this a little bit earlier, and they weren't, you know, offering shipping uh, just because of the hurricane, you know, had to let that pass over, Right. and... Uh, yeah, no, I mean, good timing, right? The, 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 the day before we got this, it said reserve your spot, and I was ready just to, to go in on it and say, hey, screw it, it'll get here when it, it gets here. Right. We held off for that day, and then we came back the next day, and it said add to cart on their website, and lo and behold, I mean, now it's in stock. So right. it's nice the fact that they do update um, as constantly as possible. So that yeah, way- I believe there's daily updates. Yeah, so that way people know, you know, what's available and, and what they might be waiting on. So that's nice. And this box right here, we have all of our uh, upgrades, right? So- the things we're replacing, they came with the, <laughs> yeah. the factory unit. Yeah, no, absolutely. This was, you know, the few extra hundred bucks that you're going to be spending if uh, if you wanted to do either the ultimate package there's an advanced package there's right. a basic package in every single one of those packages you're still going to get an upgrade nonetheless it's up to you on how much you actually do want to spend on this thing yeah and you know this is parts a... fails so We've got really nice parts, some of the best that you can get, and if one of them fails on us, you know, are we gonna buy another really expensive part like a fitting? Maybe, maybe not. Um, it just depends uh, on, on how it gets damaged, right? Sometimes it's, you know, the entire fitting that just needs to be replaced. I know that um, in this box, uh, you know, they all include a, a couple additional O-rings, which is nice, so mm -hmm. that way if We'll see if an O-ring fails, then, you know, you can service it. And yeah, you don't have to wait, you know, order one and wait. Yeah, and, and obviously, you know, if you run out of O-rings and you keep having the same problem, then I'm sure you could probably go out somewhere and find a really similar O-ring fitting. Um, or maybe they might even offer it on their website. I, I haven't gotten a I'm sure chance to look there. I wouldn't but doubt that they do. Right off the top, we have the new 
foam cannon that will come in here. This is the MTM PF 22.2 foam cannon mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kit. We'll set it off to the side. We won't open it just yet. We want to get everything out of here first so you can see what's all in here. There's a um, lot. Definitely got some goodies in this package here. But we already have a foam cannon. We, we did a lot of research before uh, deciding to just go with the MTM. I wanted to try to look for better options now obviously the mtm is top of the line best of the game best bang for buck best performance you know what's really gonna outperform it right so we did a lot of research i do watch quite a few different detailers on youtube and one of which which i believe is based out of uh, australia australia and there's a company out there called big boy uh, that's based out of australia as well i believe um, I was watching a lot of content of his where he was, you know, using that foam cannon. And this is a really, really new foam cannon. Like this released maybe a month to two months ago. Yeah, this is the Big Boy Foamer Pro here. And yeah. we'll get a nice little comparison between the, what is it, the MTM? And yeah, the, you'll, 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 you'll see we'll a, a big down. difference between the two for sure. Now that's a really nice one. I do like it. Uh, there's a lot of differences on that foam cannon compared to the rest of the competition which really separates itself yeah we ordered but, that one it's, you couldn't even have it shipped to the u.s so we had to find an ebay seller that was willing to sell that over, that over, was uh, that was the tough part country yeah. lines trying to find someone it's in the australia show, yeah. area that could get their hands on it and then that would be willing to ship all the way from there to to the states so Man, they really, they really package this up very nicely. Yeah, I did not expect them to fit that much in this kind of box. So this is going to be your garden hose. Oh, yeah. A hell of a lot thicker, for <laughs> sure. Uh, which yeah, is a big boy. Which is nuts. Um, 20 feet, I believe it is. Yeah, I believe all of these hoses are also continental hoses, if I'm yes. not mistaken. So they're At least that one, yes. Yeah, top of the line, really, really nice. Oh yeah, there we go, Continental right here at the bottom. This is a pretty thick hose, so this will be our garden hose. It's gonna be a nice upgrade compared to the Home Depot setup that we've got hanging outside. Yeah, <laughs> no, and then obviously, I mean, think about it, you've got a ton of pressure running through these right hoses, and obviously it starts with the, the, the faucet outside, so. You want as much water flowing from there into the pressure washer as possible. So having a nice thick hose uh, will help out a lot. And then pressure builds up from the pressure washer. And then uh, from the pressure washer, you have a outlet hose, you could call, uh, which is a 50 foot, which is long as hell. But um, that's a long boy. Yeah, we wanted to do this because we didn't want to have to obviously move the unit around. We want that to be a standstill unit to where we can just leave it in one spot. This is a very, very long high pressure hose, but yeah, that looks really good. It's the Mosmatic fittings mm -hmm. and they come pre-attached so we don't have to fiddle around and figure out, you know, exactly how we want to do it. Or... Yeah, the, the quick disconnects are already on there. Yeah, they handle um, that for you. And then yeah, that's that's your that's your high pressure specific hose. I don't know if it's actually gonna say uh, continental on here. It might not be a continental hose. Not that that necessarily matters, but no, I mean, it's a Gates. A Gates. The timing belt brand. So. <laughs> hey, they make a good timing belt. Yeah. Good serpentine belt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's a blue one, you know, for the high performance. So not much more left, but um. Start with this guy? Yeah, so. Well, yeah, grab this. Show, show them the difference between what you would be getting um, if so, you were to upgrade your gun. It's that real long boy that comes right out of the package. In fact, I'll pull the wand out as well. So, I believe we get a new wand in the assembly. So, we'll have something to compare it to. Yeah, so you see, this guy, you push on, screw on. I think. See, this is the, what we wanted to avoid here. So, 
So you see how much time he's wasting just trying to <laughs> screw the damn thing on to where is something like this. I'll Two bring it up hours closer later. so you can see what this is. This is the OG spec uh, with the Mosmatic fitting. Yeah, this um, is, you know, I'm coming all the way around and behind Caleb here. This is, you know, this is a, it's a sharpshooter right here. Right. So, <laughs> and that's another thing too, right? So you're kind of, you're, you're, you've, you've got a long gun with a long... Uh, 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 extension, right? Yeah, wand. wand. It's real long. And, uh, you know, if you're trying to wash up close, you're standing right here doing this from a distance. Um, you want to hit the top of the car, you're doing one of these motions with, with that shit above your head. Whereas this, it's a hell of a lot smaller. You can just connect a, a, an orifice nozzle onto here and just spray like this. You don't need a wand. Now, obviously we this got a wand. Cheap, though. I'll be honest. I'll, I'll talk about this. This doesn't feel cheap. Like uh, the one that comes in the package is honestly pretty, pretty robust. I'm impressed. Yeah. Now, obviously we do have a wand for, um, you know, if we find a, a good purpose a for better. it. <laughs> yeah. A lot better. This is, this is heavier than the weight of the whole thing there. Now they offer three different options on those guns. There's three different guns. They all look the same, but you know, there's different parts on there. And um, that is the OG spec, which is your top of the line. This one's actually going to have uh, the Upsess Garage logo that it does. on the gun. Pretty sick. Yeah, very sick. Super clean. Check that out. Got our boy Chance here off camera. Solid. It's super, nice. it's super nice. That's a good feeling gun right there. It's even got like a tactile feel. Halfway through, it's got a bump, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yeah, you feel that? A little bump? Oh, yeah. yeah you're not mistaken when you're pressing the trigger down. No. And like I said, so there's, there's three different guns that they offer that, you know, all look the same. They're going to have uh, different fittings on them. I believe one, I think they might all be swivel. Um, I don't know about that. And it just connects just like yeah, that. There we go. Quick and easy. No screw in. You know, you're not wasting precious minutes. That's really nice too. This is also Mosmatic. Yes, it should also be Mosmatic. All of our uh, quick disconnects um, should be Mosmatic. Yeah, this is These nice. might be stainless steel, honestly. Uh, no, it definitely says Mosmatic on it. Well, even better. Yeah, no, they all say Mosmatic. Now, if you're, you know, sitting here watching this and you're like, what, what the heck is Mosmatic? Uh, the best way I could tell you is it's just really good quality. Um, you know, it'll last longer than if you were to have a brass fitting or a standard stainless steel fitting. That's what we were originally going to go with was all stainless steel fittings. It's a little bit more expensive than the brass fittings, but it's nowhere near the cost of a Mosmatic fitting. Um, you can even tell right here, the camera might not pick it up and focus, kind of, but you can say, or you can kind see of. that it says Mosmatic on there with a max pressure of 5,000 PSI. Now, obviously we're not using nowhere near that amount of pressure. I believe with the setup that we have here, we're trying to achieve a max pressure of like 750 PSI. Oh, really? I don't know what the output, because uh, we didn't have a pressure gauge on, on the Ryobi pressure washer, uh, but I can just tell you from using it that if you're trying to clean your brushes after you're cleaning a wheel, or, or if you're trying to clean off your microfiber towel or uh, rag uh, after you know cleaning the vehicle, you're standing there with a wand like this, and then it's got so much pressure that it's blowing the thing away, and it's 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 a pain to 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 try to you know clean it up. So with this system, we'll be able to run lower pressure and have more flow, more GPM. Uh, this thing has been tested and has it was tested with a potentially broken gauge, but I mean, it's going to get you, you know, they tested two gallons per minute. They tested 2.2, I believe, max uh, GPM gallons per minute, uh, which is insane. So 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I was mentioning, there's the three different guns. You're going to have the, the base or the, the basic package, the advance, and the ultimate. And yeah, we went with the ultimate package because well, one, we didn't want to necessarily cheap out on anything. And two, we were... Uh, we wanted to try to let it last as much as possible, so. Obviously, we'll have to screw those on at first and make sure they're tight, but not too tight. Mm -hmm. You I don't want to mess with this at install. You know, you don't want to baby the thing. Otherwise, you're going to have a surge issue um, where you're leaking, but you don't want it too tight, like I mentioned before. Otherwise, uh, you could potentially damage an O-ring, and then now you have to replace the O-ring, so. That's pretty much it. We have one more baggie that you already pulled out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Comes with, uh, let's see. These are the tips for the guns. Looks like we've got some replaceable orifices. It does come with a spare. I can't yeah. say I know exactly which orifice that is, but basically that's just the, uh, it's the little hole that dictates the pressure, right? The smaller the hole, the more pressure it's gonna build up coming out of that hole. So uh, we've got two different adjustable nozzles here so these guys have some replacements both of those guys those would fit at the end of the gun here as so this by. one is a uh, completely different size you want to snap it on real quick a little demonstration of what it looks like with yeah. the with one no. of those guys on there absolutely uh, it does come with a couple of spare o-rings as discussed so it looks like we've got two different sizes um, figuring out exactly where those go is going to be a different story but I'm sure that won't be well, too difficult you've, when you're uh, there in the magic. Let me just look at it this way, right? And here you have an O-ring seated down here. You would take basically like well, a, it's a, very a pick. Different ring. Yeah. Still got options though. Yeah. Um, obviously not for this one, no. But yeah, we figure out where they go. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, with this you're not, you know, screwing around, wasting time. Beautiful. It's just a quick, easy connect like that, and then uh, if you wanted to change the direction of your spray, you have that option as well. Uh, I don't know how well the, the mic picked that up, but I can put it a little bit closer, but yeah, that's, that's solid, looks great. And you don't have the wand on there, right? So if you didn't want to be doing this motion while, you know, trying to hit the top of a vehicle, you know, you can do more like this and, and, and not have to deal with the extra length from a wand. And this is going to be the high pressure inlet attachment that goes straight to the pressure washer. Um, so the VE56 and 52 had a, I believe a 15 millimeter setup, which was unconventional, where with this model, they went back to kind of what is more the standardized size of 14 millimeter. So if you have any of your original attachments, you know, you won't have to worry about having a separate unit or anything like that. This just slides right on and screws directly over. And just like that, pressure washer now has some quick disconnect fittings. So again, like Caleb was saying, this will just ultimately save time. You know, it's just snap on, snap off now. <clears throat> and that's, that's a big thing when it, when it comes to one for personal use and two if um you know if you if you've got a customer who you know wants a, a detail done you're not you're saving time basically oh, so yeah, big time that's that's pretty much it there for for uh, the unboxing on the pressure washer and, and the hoses and the gun the wand the fittings everything looks um, terrific Really we really might impressed. be able to utilize those orifices if, if need be, but um, at least for now, we're going to run with the better stuff and, and oh, yeah. you know, see, how we, see how we feel and think about those first. And if we want to give those uh, other orifices a try, we can. But the last thing before we get out of here uh, is to kind of show you the uh, MTM PF 22.2 foam cannon. It's got some tape on here. We're going to have to cut it open but like i said we already have a foam cannon davis showed you earlier of the the big boy mm -hmm, foam mm -hmm. pro um we got the chance to use that a couple times uh, over the past few uh weekends That's nice. yeah sick set these off to the side 
get the focus back on the foam cannons. Yeah, uh, obviously, uh, you know, kind of playing around with the ratios. Raci ratios are super important uh, when it comes to, you know, trying to save as much uh, product as possible, especially when you're first starting off. Get you know, you don't right. want to be using a, a, a ton of, you know, a ton of product and water dilution is key to, to exactly that. So it's really nice. That's a good looking setup right there. Absolutely. But let's get into this and see what's going on here. Very, very nice presentation. Keep it clean. I like that. We've got the... It is very clean as well. Little hose separate here, which obviously we could just kind of fit right over. That just slides up and over, doesn't it? Yeah. And what I'm liking here is the fact that I'm struggling to get this on. <laughs> so you know it's not coming on. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> it's a snug fit. You're not going to have a leak from from the, the base up here. So the actual bottle itself, I'm sure you've seen plenty of videos and unboxings of and people using this product, but yeah. we're here to show you too, so stick around. Yeah, this guy's been at the top of the game for a long time, so when we were out there looking for alternatives, you know, there was really only so many options. This one's the highly revered, loved by many and all, pretty much. It's hard to go wrong with this assembly. Yeah, and then it's nice of them to actually include this, so you're not, you know, constantly this, leaving that on. If you didn't right. want to, you've got a cap for just the bottle alone. Uh, it's, it's, that's, so, you know, keep your product. Keep the nozzles clean. Yeah, if that's know. if that's a setup how you want to run. Yeah, here we go. Let's we'll screw this on and give an example. Ideally, what this would be really good for is if you wanted to put your, uh, you know, foam soap of a sort. Like we use GSF from Coach Kenny mm -hmm. uh, as our as our choice of foam. Yep. You could put that in there, dilute it with water, and then you could put this cap on there so you can kind of mix it around, and then that's true. After mixing it, then you can put that guy on. You might not know. Maybe you put that guy on and somehow it's leaking from somewhere or, or whatever. So it's just nice that they give you options. And then the last thing, too, is they give you a another uh, the orifice. Tube. Yeah, another orifice for the actual gun. Now, that thing is super cool. I, I like the way that that is made. Mm, feels you, nice can change, nice. you can change how much... Uh, you know, is actually coming out, whether or, long, whether, whether or not you want a jet stream or if you want it more fanned out. And then obviously as he spins the top there, that's going to be for um, how much foam you want coming out of the gun. So, Yeah, there's quite a few, as you can see, as I twist this, you've got that open and close action here. So kind of change your fan or spray pattern right there. there yeah. Go. Very nice, very nice. You saw it earlier, but I'll show it again just so you have an idea of the side-by-side -side comparison between us. Exactly. Uh, MTM uh, foam cannon and a big boy foam cannon. Um, obviously, this will hold a thousand milliliters. I think this is honestly the same, maybe 900. Let's take a look at the um, the quality difference is definitely there for sure. The yeah, it's a thousand. The as well. it's a thousand. Nice. Yes. The quality of the bottle here feels better than the big boy. This does feel like a, uh, a cheaper plastic compared to this. Um, but what's the biggest difference between the two is, well, big boy decided to just make a bunch of different um, nozzles to where you could switch in, in between, right? That very nice click to let you know that yeah, you're there. Hard to get better than that. I would probably say there's, you know, maybe what, two or three of these these nozzles, which you're never really gonna use, um, but it's cool to have just in the event of, you know, ever finding use for it. Um, but yeah, yeah having, having that control, you know, is obviously a pro no matter what. Trying no. to get to those hard to reach areas or you want a lot of concentration in a specific spot, you know, this will give you that ability. Absolutely. Well, that's pretty much it, man. Hard to go wrong with a setup like this. Not, not, not bad for, if we, if we take this out, not yeah. bad for 
show you everything you get. 1300 bucks. Right. Let's see, yeah, this full ensemble here. Again, comes with uh, the hoses. You're getting these nice high quality options. I went ahead and installed quick release on both sides. You know, you're getting all the different attachments. You're getting the stuff that comes from the factory, but this is the bread and butter that we'll be taking use of here. Um, no, absolutely. It's a pretty good package, honestly. I mean, even with the additional stuff, you know, you've got some pick and choose. Really hard to go wrong with all these attachments. Even the wand feels nice. Yeah. <laughs> Mosmatic fitting on that as well, I believe. Oh, we both sides, yep. So, all Mosmatic fittings, the active 2.0 pressure washer, which uh, is double the lifetime of the VE5256, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, which is really nice. And you're spending, what, maybe an extra 100, 150 bucks, if that, um, to get double the life, which, you know, is it's an investment. Why not spend the extra 100, 150 bucks to to have something like that, right? Exactly. So, and then as long as you take care of it, then, you know, it can last you a really long time. Obviously, I mentioned before, this isn't a serviceable unit. So once it's mm -hmm. officially done, it is officially done. And you'd either, one, have to get another one or two, go with something else. But I believe there's also a 200-hour uh, runtime on this unit. Now, it's not like you're going to be standing there all day just running the pressure <laughs> washer you're probably gonna you know spend anywhere from i don't know say five to ten minutes of actual use uh on, on every vehicle so as compared to like a ryobi system where it's right at like 100 hours you know sometimes less uh having that extra life is definitely going to make a big difference here so yeah no absolutely I'm very happy very very happy well, that's pretty much it. That was a solid unboxing. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. There's going to be more videos to come. Obviously, we'll, we'll do a, uh, a first wash video on this thing, getting it all set up and, and presentable with, you know, what we have. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, first time testing, obviously. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's not going to be perfect. There's, right. you know, potentially going to be a leak somewhere, and we're going to have to trace it and, and fix it. And then... Hopefully by the end of, you know, fixing everything that it's, it's your, you know, perfect system where right. there's, there's no issues at all. So I'm really excited to see how this performs. Hopefully, uh, the weather will be a little nice to us for the next couple of hours. If not, the then, uh, the prayer. yeah, if not, there's always, you know, next weekend and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in. If you watched all the way through, uh, really do appreciate that. Don't forget to like and uh, comment. If you dislike this video, go for it. Uh, we don't see the amount of dislikes that's on there. So not I anymore, not anymore. Yeah, I won't feel as bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what do you want to see? Do you want to know more about the Active 2.0? Do you want to know more about Mosmatic? What's the difference between that and stainless steel T304 and, and your brass fittings? You know, what's... What's, a, what's more of a difference between the basic, the advanced, and the ultimate? Because we didn't necessarily go over that. We just kind of told you, this is the ultimate. This is the top of the line stuff that's available right now. And this is what you're going to get for, you know, what you're paying for. So, yeah, we're going to get out of here. We're going to, you know, see if we have enough time to, 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 to try to do a first test and see how it performs live. Uh, I'm excited, so. Thanks again for watching. We'll, uh, we'll be back on the next video. Make sure to subscribe, as I said, and yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. More late night garage content coming soon. <laughs> Hell yeah.